I'm Samantha Walsh. I'm here for Weed TV, uh, standing here at the amazing Joe Megacy. Joe, can we talk about some current events right now? We are here at the Capitol doing what we do every day, day in, day out, and working on spreading the good word about marijuana and how marijuana can play a good role in our society here. And we are here on this beautiful Colorado day to talk to some legislators and educate them on the marijuana's appropriate role in our society. So what do you think is the most hotbed issue with marijuana policy right now that we're going to be dealing with on a national platform? A lot of the, one of the big issues that we're dealing with now here in Colorado is the issue of edibles and how edibles should be regulated. You know, there's a lot of discussion over there about the safety of edibles and how they're so much more potent than uh, flowers, marijuana flowers, and how they can be dealt with. So we're currently working on some legislation here that we hope will continue to serve as a model for the rest of the country. Well, that's amazing. I completely agree a thousand percent. <laughs> what are you going to be doing this wonderful 420 weekend? Unfortunately, I'm going to be in Oklahoma, but luckily visiting family since it's also Easter, but I hope to be spreading the good word down there. Oklahoma is definitely one state where we could benefit to ch changing some hearts and minds about marijuana. So hopefully I'll be taking some time there to the heartland and taking my message and have the opportunity to meet with some fine Oklahomans about the benefits of regulating marijuana like alcohol. Oh, I love Oklahoma. It's a great musical. What <laughs> other uh, states do you see um, pursuing either adult use marijuana or medical use legislation? You know, I think the adult use uh, marijuana is going to be here in the West. We're going to see it somewhere uh, in Nevada, Alaska or Oregon probably this year, very likely this year. You know, these are states that all have the ballot initiative process that allows citizens to directly choose their, their laws. And we want to see those states flip over soon. And we think we maybe in 2014 we'll see those states. And then a number of other states are, are moving on the medical horizon. New York uh, is, is moving forward. Minnesota, unfortunately, their Democratic governor there has not been a, the most receptive person to the medical marijuana bills. But we're certainly working on that. Our activists there are working on that. And a number of other states, Florida as well, has a ballot initiative to uh, legalize medical marijuana, which is all indications say it will pass this fall. So we are definitely taking the momentum and we are moving with it. Joe, what are the three hotbed issues of marijuana legislation, the regulatory structure that every state's going to have to take a look at? Well, I think one of the things they're going to have to look at is what we're talking about edibles and how to con consume edibles and doing the right sort of regulations concerning edibles. Uh, and concentrates as well, and that's sort of another related thing to that. And that concentrates are you know your hash, uh, oils, and other things like that that are highly concentrated forms. We're going to have to look at regulating those sort of things the right way. And again, it's a user education and how our consumers can use those products safely if they choose to do so. And what about uh, public consumption or a place where people can go to safely consume? That's a big issue too. You know, we Even though it's legal here now in Colorado, and we are in a much, much better position than we used to be concerning marijuana policy and its legal status. There's still this issue about where people coming to Colorado who want to use marijuana, where they can use it safely and responsibly, you know, among other adults where they're not going to be creating a, a problem. So we're trying to figure out what the best compromise in that is, whether or not you allow for private clubs and private consumption of marijuana at these clubs. You know, we certainly don't want to disrupt our good friends in the hotel or hosp hospitality industry. We want to have a place where adults who want to use marijuana can go and use it in a public place that's not at their homes, where the children might be around. It's not at hotels, as I said, and it's not on the streets. We certainly don't want people just out in the streets smoking marijuana all over the place either. So we want a place where they can go safely. So it's just really an issue that we're going to have to figure out. Well, that all sounds like reasonable, responsible, and a measured approach to marijuana policy. I think so too. And you know, as we go ahead with some of these other things, we have to look at the taxation and the regulation. You know, if this regulated market is going to be competitive with the underground market, I mean, that's the whole reason I think people are so receptive of this is to stamp out illegal actors and, and get rid of cartels being the only people that can sell and deal in marijuana. We have to say, we have to create a regulatory and taxation environment that doesn't tax it too heavily, so it can be competitive with drug dealers and drug cartels. That's a big issue. No. Well, this is Samantha Walsh for Weed TV, and thank you um, to the illustrious Joe Megacy uh, well, for your thank time. Thank you very much, Samantha. Anytime.